I said, it must be, the bombers must be a very high altitude aircraft. And he, he, he said, the bomber hell, look at that. There's a whole, he, he said, it's a whole Jap fleet out there. <laughs> he called my attention to the Pagoda Mast, which was the Yamato. The bomb came, oh, maybe 40 feet behind me. Where, where it was, it just wiped out the, the people that run along behind me just disappeared. Born and raised in Louisiana on a small farm in the country out there. Very, very uh, ordinary people. And uh, uh, I joined the Navy when I was 17. I kept getting afraid. As soon as I got 18, I had to register for the draft, so I didn't want to get called in the Army, so I, I joined the Navy. Well, well, I was just inside of this place here because my station on General Quarters was a fire hose that was just around the corner from here, which would have been about here. But then when the, uh, after, after that, the initial explosion, our, our fire system, went, we went out, we didn't have any fire, water to fight with. So they had to load it with that, he's looking for submarines. And that was the first thing they did in the morning. And and, and, uh, you, and uh, so they we were up at that time, and uh, the general quarter uh, sounded and the next thing that I knew. And he, I, I said to him, and I started stretching my neck up, I said, it must be, the bombers must be a very high altitude aircraft. And he, he, he said, bomb the hell, look at that. The whole, he, he said, the whole Jap fleet's out there. <laughs> so, well, the Jap fleet was broken up into three d divisions there, but uh, this was the central fl fl fleet that would come in to attack us. This is very early in the morning where the sun's just starting to go up. Yeah, yeah, well, it may have been a little later in the morning by that time because uh, it was, uh, and it was, there were clouds around, so uh, you, you uh, but there was an open, you could see, they were several thousand yards when we first, they first came into view, but I, I could see them plain. I mean, you could count the individual airplanes, and I could also, he called my attention to the Pagoda Mast, which was the Yamato, and um, I, I hadn't known about that before, but he had, and, um, so so I went, see the Yamato, uh, the Yamato mast? Yeah, Yamato. yeah. And I went, uh, so there were, I didn't count them at the time, but I know now there were four battleships, eight cruisers, and the rest destroyers, 21 ships altogether. And uh, the, the Yamato and tonnage was more than our whole task force. I mean, they, they, she was, uh, like 70 something thousand tons and the, all of our task force put together didn't come to that. <laughs> so, so it looked, looked kind of scary. So. <laughs> and, uh, and about the same, t well before, actually before I started looking around, I, I, I looked at the next ship over and uh, it had uh, those geysers or geysers or geysers, whatever you call them, going up like, I don't know, 50, 60 feet in the air. And they're all different. Uh, they splash and they come up like a, a tower-like thing, and it would be a, a, a color. Each one have each ship had its own color. So it'd be a beautiful sight. I mean, it's been it hadn't kind of. Uh, so immediately we we all our whole force came under fire from the. Uh, from the, the big guns. The Japanese um, battleships had 18-inch um, guns, so they had quite a reach to them. 
so there's water splashing around. I couldn't see the splashing on our, our ship because I was on it, but I could see it on the other ships. And those geysers were going up the color and coming back down. And then after a short, wasn't too long after that, they ordered uh, uh, smoke and then the destroyers and our ships started making smoke. So it was hard to, and, and I could only see out an opening in, in the hangar deck, I mean the flight, the hangar deck had where the, um, the hatch was, I could see out and I could see out the after end of the ship, uh, the hatch there was open. So I could see. Could you see the Japanese fleet at that point? I mean, yeah, yes, I could see. And I went over onto the, I was over on the, the starboard side, and I walked over to the port side, and I could see the cruisers come up and start launching. And they were firing on without their, our ship was firing on them with 40 millimeters. And I, I was, <laughs> kind of light-hearted, and I said, uh, "Well, I said, it's when they when they when they start using the twenties, we better get off of here." <laughs> <laughs> you know they're close then, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, but they did. They started using the twenties when the submarine when the torpedoes came in. They were firing on the torpedoes in the water. I didn't know that's what was going on. Found out later. Did that work? Uh, kind of? I, I suppose they, uh, actually some of those tor torpedoes, by that time they were getting pretty slowed down, you know, so, and then our, our, our uh, fighters are, were making strafing runs on those torpedoes too. And uh, they, this one, one pilot we had, a young pilot, um, uh, he, he came in, and they got credit. He got to, they, they talked to him about him made a, made an uh, an outside loop because he was firing on the torpedoes. He had one in sight, and and it uh, it, it got um, he was kind of, kind of overshot it a little bit. So he went, made an outside loop and came up and fired again. You know. That's what they said that that hurt. I, I, I didn't see that, but I know they told me that. Yeah, on each side there's a, a, pass, a passageway so where you can go through and get served uh, from the galley. And uh, I went through to the aft end of that and got uh, an apple and a sandwich in my hand and. And I started, just as I took one bite out of each, the bell started going again, so I started running back to my general quarters. And just as I got through, I don't know if I've said all of this, but it happened. Um, just as I got through that passageway into the front, forward uh, mess deck, I, I, um, that, that, um, the bomb came through, um, the flight deck, and I, I'm not sure if it exploded. You know, <laughs>